What's up? This is Frankie Presley, and you're checking out a teamview.com. Hi, I'm Victoria Justice, and you're watching. What got you into music to begin with? Okay, oh, this is a funny story. Um, when I was about 13, I played sports my whole life. And my sister was a dancer and a gymnast, and she did all that kind of stuff. And the dance studio that she went to was offering, like, a hip-hop class for all boys. And my mom always said that she, you know, thought I could dance and stuff, so she forced me into doing this class. And my dad would, did not want me to take the class. He was, like, freaking out. So I used to go one day a week straight from, like, baseball in my, you know, cleats and the whole nine yards. And I used to take this class. And I started to, like, really enjoy it. And I was really excelling in it. And um, the ladies who owned the studio wanted me to take more classes and stuff. So as I got, as I started doing the, the dancing and stuff, I really got into it. And um, probably within, I would say, a year, it was, that's all I was doing. And from there, I started doing, like, local, like, theater and stuff um, back at home. And then um, that's kind of where it all began. Awesome. Very cool. Um, so no more sports. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> so you've gotten to play shows with some pretty cool people. Who has been your favorite show that you've gotten to play? <laughs> wow. Well, that's hard. Um, probably, I mean, probably the greatest, um, like, group I got to tour with was, um, Westlife, and they were that boy, a boy band, um, out in the UK, um, mainly because they just were extremely... The guys, obviously, in the group is what I'm talking about, were extremely nice and um, really, like, taught us a lot and kind of, um, you know, shared their experiences with us. And, um, you know, I was able to learn so much after doing that and them being so humble and seeing their success um, really opened my eyes to a lot of things. Awesome. And... Social networking wise, like which ones do you have and how do you get in touch with people through them? I use Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And I um, run them all myself because I do feel like that it's really important for me at the level of the career that I'm at to really communicate with my fans and um, try to, you know, be as personal with them as I can be. Um, you know, because obviously it does come to a point where when someone becomes so successful that it's not them running their pages. So, um, you know, I think for right now, for what I'm doing, you know, I'm always in between recording, rehearsals, meetings. I have everything hooked up to my phone, and I try to, you know, get on there as much as I can. What are you, like, most excited for coming up the rest of this year? I mean, what do you have going on? Oh, that's good. Um, I'm pretty excited just about, I have had a lot of opportunities that have arrived for me, which I'm extremely grateful of. And um, I'm just very excited for people to see, um, you know, what I'm going to do. And I really, I'm excited to prove to people that, you know, no matter how big your dream is or how much people tell you no, I've never stopped. I've never given up. And, um, you know, I'm excited to show people that you can live the dream. So that's Great. what I'm most excited for, Great. to make my fans proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so are there, like, any charities or organizations that you support right now or plan to support in the future? Yeah, I mean, I do anything people tell me about charities. If I can do them or be part of them or send something, I'll do it in a second because I do feel that is extremely important. Um, 
I do. I am involved in a kids' charity, which is um, really special. And um, at this point right now, I actually am starting my own, like, foundation, where um, it's called Frankie Share the Dream Foundation, Sharing the Dream Foundation. Um, and that's going to be all, like, the charities and stuff that I'm part of. So I'm actually working on that right now, which is really exciting. And um, so when I get more news on that, I'll have to update you. All right, awesome. And then lastly, if there was an artist that you could tour with, who would it be? <laughs> um, probably, wow, that is so hard. I would say Britney Spears. <laughs> All right. That'd be a fun tour. Do you want, do you want the reasoning why? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I do have to say that my thing about Britney, and I know so many people hate on her, but I'm an extreme advocate on, you know, being an entertainer. And as much as, you know, people have, you know, uh, gotten her for, you know, lip thinking and, you know, not being able to be the best singer and this and that and kind of, you know, all the things, I think that she proved to people that, you know, you don't necessarily need to be the best singer or the best dancer but when you put your whole heart and soul into something and you entertain people and give them a show and give them things, you know, that they've never seen before, obviously, you know, as you can see in the success of her career, it works. And, you know, I just kind of believe in if you're going to do something, you should go all out with it. So I, I think it would be cool to tour with Brittany. 